proceed a little bit more for implicit differentiation. For this video, we may encounter a problem where we have to apply a combination rule to solve our implicit differentiation. So let's proceed with example 15. We have to find dy dx from the equation exponent to the power of xy plus 3 equal to x squared minus y to the power of 6. So from our first term, we have an exponential function here. Remember, if we have to differentiate exponent function, our rule will be copy back our original equation and then differentiate our equation, our power, and then ln base. But now, for our power here, we have a problem because this is basically a multiplication of two different functions of x and y. So, we have to apply product rule here. So, for product rule, you have to choose your u and v. In this case, I choose our u as x means that our u prime would be 1 and for v we will let as y so v prime in this case will be dy over dx and the formula of our product rule is u v prime plus with v u prime so now we can differentiate each of the following terms. So start with the first term, exponent to the power of x, y. So copy back, we will have e to the power of x, y times with derivative of our power. So we will have x dy dx plus y and then ln of our base. So ln e and then plus with derivative of 3 will be 0 equal to next one we have to differentiate x squared so you will get 2x and last part we have to differentiate y to the power of 6 so we will get 6y to the power of 5 dy dx now we just have to simplify. Since we want to find dy dx, make sure all the terms with dy dx would be on our left side and without the dy dx term would be on your right side. So for our left side, we will have x e to the power of xy plus with 6y to the power of 5 and these two terms will multiply with dy dx. And for our right side, we will have 2x minus with y e to the power of x, y. And last part, in order to make sure you only have dy dx on your left side, so you have to divide your equation. So finally, our equation will be dy dx equal to 2x minus y e to the power of x, y divided by x e to the power of xy plus 6y to the power of 5. Now let's proceed with the second question. So we have y ln of x divided by x minus 1 equal to 2xy minus 3. It seems a little bit tricky here, but don't worry. Basically, for ln, we can simplify that terms into simplified version where you can apply log rule. So, this will be equal to y times with ln of x minus ln of x minus 1 equal to 2xy minus 3. So, if we open up the bracket, we will have y ln x minus y ln of x minus 1 equal to 2xy minus 3. And now we can differentiate each term. But now we have another problem here where our terms is basically a multiplication of two different functions so we have to perform product rules so i go with our first term first y ln x so in this case 
our u would be y and u prime would be dy over dx. So v would be ln x and v prime in this case would be 1 over x. Proceed to our second term, we have y ln of x minus 1. So in this case, our u would be also y and u prime is still dy dx. But then our v in this case would be ln of x minus 1. So v prime would be 1 over x minus 1. Okay, now proceed with our third term, x times y. So for our product rule here, our u would be x and u prime would be 1 and v would be y and v prime in this case would be dy over dx. So now basically we have three product rule and just a recap, our formula for product rule would be u v prime plus with v u prime. So now we can carefully um, differentiate each of the following terms. Start with the first term, apply the product rule. So we will get y over x plus ln x dy dx. And then next proceed with our second term minus with y over x minus 1 plus with ln of x minus 1 dy dx. Okay, equal to, proceed with our third term, 2, I just rewrite it back. So, our product rule here would be x dy dx plus y. And then minus 3, if we differentiate, we'll get minus 0. Now, we have to separate terms with dy dx and without dy dx. So, for our left side, we will have ln of x minus ln of x minus 1 minus 2x and this and each of these term is basically multiplied with dy dx and for our right side we will have 2y minus with y over x plus with y over x plus sorry x minus 1 so for last step to make sure we have dy dx on our left side, we have to divide this out. So finally our terms would be 2y minus y over x plus y over x minus 1 times with 1 divided by ln x minus ln of x minus 1 minus 2x. We can simplify this final answer furthermore, but at this point, I believe that you can do that on your own, so I'll stop at this part. Proceed with question C. We have cos of 3x minus 2y equal to 5y. So start from the first term. We have a trigo function here. So remember, you only have to differentiate the trigo function first. So, derivative of cos would be negative sine. Everything inside the bracket, you just have to copy it back. So, you will get 3x minus 2y. And only after that, you will differentiate what's inside the bracket. So, we will get 3 minus 2 dy over dx. Would be equal to derivative of 5y you will get 5 dy over dx. Now, for our left side, we can open up the bracket. Remember, you 3 minus 2 dy dx is a constant. So, if you multiply with the trigo function, the constant will be at the front. So, we will get negative 3 sine of 3x minus 2y plus with 2 sine of 3x minus 2y times with dy dx equal to 5 dy dx. After that, we separate terms with dy dx and without dy dx. So, for our left side, we will have 2 sine of 3x minus 2y 
minus 5. And these two terms will multiply with dy dx. And for our right side, we will have 3 sine of 3x minus 2y. So finally, you can divide this out. So dy dx will be equal to 3 sine of 3x minus 2y. And this will be divided by 2 sine of 3x minus 2y minus 5. And that will be our final answer. Proceed with the next question, example 16. This question is a little bit different where given that x, y equal to sine 3x, this is basically a statement. And normally we have to use this statement to complete our question. We From this equation, we have to show that x d squared y over the x squared plus 2 dy dx plus 9 xy equal to 0. Means that if I label xy equal to sin 3x as our first equation, using the, the, using the process of differentiation, we have to transform this into what the question asks for. I label it as a second equation. So our guideline here from first equation then we have to differentiate the equation to transform it to become our second equation. So we start with the first equation. We have xy equal to sine 3x. This is basically once again a multiplication of two different functions. So we have to perform product rule. So u in this case is x. u, u prime is 1. v in this case is y. Means that our v prime would be dy over dx. I remind you once again the formula for product rule is uv prime plus with vu prime. So we can differentiate this equation and you will get x dy dx plus y equal to for sine 3x. First step, don't forget you just only have to differentiate your trigger function so you will get cos of 3x and only after that you have to differentiate what's inside the bracket and you will get 3. In this case this will be equal to 3 cos of 3x. Now we only have the first derivative equation but our aim is second derivative equation means that we have to differentiate our equation once more. But for our first term, once again, we have a multiplication of two different functions, which is x and dy dx. So once again, another product rule here. Our u is x, u prime is 1, v in this case is dy dx, and v prime in this case, if we differentiate dy dx, we will get d squared y over dx squared. So, using the same product rule, we will get the first term is x d squared y over dx squared plus dy dx. That is basically the derivative for the first term. Now, proceed with the second term. We have y here. So, derivative of this would be another dy dx equal to, we have a constant 3, so you just have to rewrite it back. Now, derivative of cos will be negative sine 3x. And once again, don't forget to differentiate what's inside the bracket. You will get another 3 there. And if we simplify this, this will become negative, sine, negative 9 sine 3x. Okay, now we can simplify this equation as what we aim for. So first term is we have x d squared y over dx squared. That is basically exactly the same as what they aim for. So we have x d squared y over dx squared. For second and third term, we can simplify this as these are basically the same. So this will be equal to plus 2 dy dx. Okay, moving on now. We have a 3 go function here, which is sine of 3x. But for our aim, what we have to show, there is no 3 go function there. 
means that we have to change our sine 3x term. And if we refer back to our original question, sine 3x is basically x times y. And we can change this into x times y means that our equation now will be equal to negative 9xy. To make sure we can show as what they asked for in the original question means that we have to make sure our right side is equal to 0. So finally, our final equation would be x d squared y over dx squared plus with 2 dy dx. And then we bring our last term to left side. So we will have plus with 9xy equal to 0. And that is basically our target. The tricky part here is just you just have to manipulate the trigo function based on the question, equation in the question. And don't forget you have to perform product rule twice. Just a reminder before we end our session for implicit differentiation, d over dx of dy dx is totally different with dy dx times with dy dx. d over dx of dy dx means basically we have to differentiate our dy dx. And after the process of differentiation, we will get d squared y over dx squared. But dy dx if we multiply with dy dx that is basically just a multiplication of two function and we will get dy dx the whole thing squared so as a conclusion here bear in mind that d squared y over dx squared is basically a second derivative does not equal to dy dx squared dy dx squared is basically a multiplication of two first derivatives.